Good morning, I am Roberta Metzola and I'm very much looking forward to spending the next few minutes with you. Today here uh, we are in my office uh, in Hamroon uh, in Malta. Uh, this is where I spend half of every week, uh, except now that we're in August, the European Parliament uh, is, is closed. So I spend the whole month here in this beautiful place meeting all people uh, uh, from Malta and Gozo uh, to discuss with them all issues that matter to them. Today uh, I am Vice President of the European Parliament, but I have been involved in politics from a very young age, uh, as a student, whether protesting against dictatorships in other countries or protesting uh, and working for big issues that matter uh, to everybody in Malta and in Gozo. My constituency is the whole country and that means that every single locality and every single person who lives uh, in Malta and Gozo, I am accountable to. It's incredible how time uh, flies uh, uh, and we are where we are. Uh, this is a country that has changed a lot. It is a great country, but it could be greater. And that's what I'm currently working on. I still remember the best of discussions uh, with my student friends at university when we wanted Malta to join the European Union. Our mission was that. But now it is our mission to make sure that Malta becomes better. The persons who shaped my life and built my foundations were my grandparents um, uh, my, on my mother's side, a very, very big family, uh, very active, very loud, wonderful, many, many cousins on my father's side, uh, also very principled, very upright, super involved in the community that instilled in me the possibility to be anything. And that's what I'm proud of being a member of my family. My biggest motivation is love for my country. Uh, Malta is not a small country. Our geographical size does not define us. And it is our integrity and our principles and our values that count and can be heard and can be spoken of everywhere. I look forward uh, to a country where there are no divisions, where there's no red or blue or that color or another color. I look forward to a country that is, as a whole, united in working to improve everybody for everybody's life, from anyone in any locality of Northern Gozo. I work with an extremely energetic uh, team of all ages, uh, from all parts of the country, some of them based in Malta, some of them based in Brussels, who work seamlessly with one aim in mind, that we could be better and we all need to work so much harder for us to reach everybody's goals, for everybody to be able to say, my goals have been achieved. I also have a very chaotic life at home. I have four children, four boys, and a husband who is from Finland. He used to be in politics before, no longer, and I think that's good. I think one politician per family is enough, and that's the joke we like to say. Of course, he says one lawyer per family. I'm a lawyer, is enough, but that, strong base uh, also teaches me to make sure that my children, my four sons, grow up with the same principles and values that my parents and my grandparents before them did to us. I meet a lot of young people who tell me, what is your advice to me? And my advice is always never give up. There are many challenges, you need to overcome them. And we can overcome them together. Also for our country to do better to be better. I'm convinced that after this very difficult period that we've just uh, lived through, we can see that light before that, through, at the end of that very, very long seemingly uh, tunnel. But I think we can see that light now and we can all emerge out of it stronger, together, and with that love and passion that we all have for this wonderful country of ours. I go to every single locality and each locality has something special in it. And you see the pride of those citizens, those residents who live in those localities when you go for their, their annual feast, uh, their parish churches, their band clubs. People are so passionate and so in love with their history and cultural heritage. And that's the best thing we have in Malta. Let's use that to unite us, to look forward, to make sure that this country becomes really the best in the world. We like to say it is, but we could do better. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me. I would like to meet you in person. Let's continue working with all the energy and enthusiasm for us to have a better country for all of us.